Whoop. Hey there. I know, I know what you're about to ask. I can hear it. I can hear you shouting it through the internet. Hey. Hey, Green Skull. What have you been doing lately? What have you been doing lately specifically on your phone? Specifically, what app have you been playing? Specifically, what game have you been dabbling with in short bursts on your phone at various times? Well, John, I've uh, been playing Tuber Simulator. I wanted to talk about this because, you know, it, it matters. It does matter. So to, to give you a quick summary of what this is, it is a new game app for your phone uh, developed by PewDiePie and Revel Mode. Revel Mode being like a network, kind of a offshoot of Polaris, the one I'm with. It's fun. It's a basic time waster. Click a bunch of stuff, wait for things to happen, click stuff again. I mean, depth wise, there's not much there, but it's just a, it's a good time passer, but... I'll get to that. It matters because PewDiePie matters. Whether you like it or not, whether you like his content now or then, you know, he's definitely a, a different person now. It's funny seeing how someone like that it changes in their content. Yeah, man, it's just gonna be so exciting to see the next 10 years of YouTube and internet videos and such, but because he's so big, the top YouTuber in the world, the things he does matters. It affects other people. And this game is going to do well. It's going to sell. It's going to, you know, it's going to make money with the microtransactions. Something that's going to happen because of who it is. Because it's PewDiePie. Because the big YouTubers with Revel Mode are supporting it, etc. So if you want to be on top of the trendiness, you want to be hip, you might as well dabble with it. It really doesn't take much time. It's actually not bad. I've played a lot of these games before. These cookie clicker, these... As, you know, they don't, again, they don't have depth. There isn't much to the game. It's, it's, you click stuff. What makes it cool is that you build a, a room for yourself and people can visit your room and see what you made so you can make stupid designs, so. So let's take a look at my room. Now, unfortunately, uh, Green Skull was taken by someone who doesn't even play. It frustrates me. Maybe I should, I should email someone. Anywho, for now, and indefinitely, I guess. I'm ready up live. Well, my room is, you, you can add me, definitely follow me up. I have 117 followers. Shout out to Master Chief. This is my room. Uh, it's, it's kind of a mess. I wanted to kind of simulate myself. You know, I got I got me going on over here. I, I have a bunch of beer bottles everywhere because I'm a, I'm obviously in, in this alternate reality. I am a, I am a drunk. Uh, this is my, this is my, uh, my poo corner. I got a, you know, someone died over there. Uh, we got, we got some poo. That's where I keep my pizza and my pie and my hockey puck. They, they belong there. Um, you know, obviously I got my NES. I got the cat sleeping up there. I have a, a major fire hazard in the corner because, you know, you got to live life on the edge sometimes. You feel me? If you're not living life on the edge, what are you doing? You just got to live it up. YOLO. And in the very center of the room, of course, I have this. So definitely add me up and, you know, post your username in the comments below. You know what? We're a community here. Add each other. If you see other names below, add each other up. We can all get, you get gifts from each other. You send each other gifts, extra money, etc. Uh, so definitely everybody add each other. Be part of it all. It's interesting to see where people like PewDiePie are, are going and are taking things and, and legitimately having an impact on the game industry so much. Speaking about PewDiePie, I don't know, I actually have met him quite a few times now. I admittedly, I was, you know, before I ever met him, I was in that, you know, sucked into that camp of, you know, like Justin Bieber haters, right? They're like, it's just like, oh, you know, I don't know. I, I'm, I don't like this guy. He screams a lot and like he's, you know, he's making all this money, right? It's so easy to feel that way. Um, but I was so incredibly impressed the first time I met him was at a Polaris party. Um, and it was just winding down. It was like 2 a.m. Everybody was a little drunk and me and him were some of the last people there. And we were just arguing about consoles, how he didn't like consoles, and he's a PC guy all the way. I'm like, yeah, no, you gotta, come on, you gotta, you gotta give some credit to consoles, and we're just having a good time over it. Um, he's a good dude, though, and I was, I was completely persuaded by that moment, and I've run into him a few times since then. But, you know, that's been one of the situations that opened my eyes to, you know, again, everyone's just people, right? Like, even the top of the top is a really cool dude. You know, I have obviously had negative experiences with bigger YouTubers that you probably know, um, but him has been cool, and you can, you can, you can tell that, you know, he isn't over his head, obviously, uh, he lives modestly, which is really cool, but he, it's, it's, it's interesting, <laughs> it's interesting seeing him interact at, 
at parties and how how he does it because it's just I couldn't even imagine. So for instance, I was at like the most recent Twitch, one of the recent Twitch parties I was at. Uh, he was literally going in a circle, like not even making eye contact, just going, "Hi, I'm PewDiePie. Hi, I'm PewDiePie. Hi, I'm PewDiePie. Hi, I'm PewDiePie." Sure never shakes my hand. Hi, I'm PewDiePie. I know you. Hi, I'm PewDiePie. But like, because because everybody wants to shake his hand, right? It's it's PewDiePie. Everybody wants that opportunity. So it must be crazy to deal with. So I could, I, I, you know, I can understand why some of these people just let it get to their heads and get a little crazy. But no, respect. I will go on record saying that. Super respect for the guy. But Tuber Simulator, very interesting. Very, very interesting. Uh, I'm curious to hear what you guys think of it in the comments below. How you're, how you're feeling about it. How much you've been playing. I like to have these kind of little apps on the side because, especially with my job and what I do, just blowing time. You know, between surfing the net and surfing Twitter and stuff, and then I'll pull this up and I'll, I'll click a couple buttons and put it back down, and it just kind of makes life a little bit more of a game. You know what I mean? Just to know that you're you're accomplishing something by doing nothing, because you can you know you earn XP in the background and such. Um, I think that's kind of the thing to it. It's the same with Pokemon Go, right? Just to add one more layer to your life that makes it more gamey, in, in as a whole, something to do. Because you know what? Life's, life's boring. Not everybody obviously needs this. I, I, I firmly do. I firmly need a lot going on. Um, like even in school, I could never pay attention. <laughs> and I, I, I just needed to have 8,000 things going at once. Otherwise, I just get bored. Things go too slow. I want to just be multitasking. I got to be doing stuff. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. That's, that's just the way I am. I know a lot of people are like that too. So yeah, really, that was it. Just a little... uh. Some little anecdotes there, talking about talking about me, talking about PewDiePie, talking about Tuber Simulator. Uh, you know, obviously these guys are are part of you know an offshoot of my network, so they're kind of they're kind of my bros. So I respect that that they're doing well, and you know I gotta I gotta root for my for my own people essentially. But yeah, add me up, ready up live. Oh, just before I just before I end this, let's make fun of uh, other people's rooms. So again, that you can add people. So we're gonna take a look at a Minolta 1034's room. Minolta has a nice purple carpet. I respect that. Uh, but he's, I don't know what, uh, I hope those are, Minolta, in the corner there, are those happy tissues or sad tissues? I see what Wardog's going on. Wardog's also doing the four purple carpet rule. Wardog, you're, uh, you got, we got some questionable, you got he's got a patch together green screen. That's not going to work very well, buddy. Clean your room, Wardog. It's almost as bad as mine, and my guy's a drunk. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Remember, love, not war, Illuminati, Albatross.